You may have already seen the intermediate jazz trumpet lesson um, doing the John Fattis lick into the Fattisphere in all 12 keys. And now we're definitely taking it up a notch. So we're going to be using our ear, but we're also going to be using our chops. So this is the advanced jazz trumpet lesson uh, doing the um, Into the Fattisphere lick by John Fattis. Well, he did the whole composition, but this is just the first lick that we're going to do. And we're going to start it off in all keys. Now, I believe he he starts it off, I believe his first note is a, is a high B. So that's kind of where we're going to be. Starting off on high B. Okay, now while I rest, you do the same thing. While you're resting? Okay, good. So the next one would be... Um, we go up a perfect fourth, we're going to go into E, right? Start it on E, rather. Okay, I'm going to rest while you play. Okay, the next one going up a perfect fourth will be starting on A. Let's see, is that right? Yeah. So we're going to start on A. I believe we can take that up above staff. Okay, you go ahead and play it. I get to rest while you're playing. This is a jazz lesson, just like if you were here right now with me. Okay, that started on A, so we will now move up to starting on D. Here we go. Your turn. Going up a fourth from D, we'll start on G. Here we go. I don't know if you can tell, but I am putting some steam through my horn, so I gladly will take this little rest while you're playing. So go ahead and play. Okay, next one, if we go up a perfect fourth, we'll be started on C. So I guess we're doing the advanced John Fattis. What would he do? He'd probably would start on the high C, wouldn't he? Let's just see if we can get it done. Kind of woke me up a little bit. Remember here the difficulty and, and the reason this is advanced is there are several things going on that weren't going on in the intermediate lesson. Uh, power, accuracy, endurance, intonation, uh, and then thinking and, and hearing these notes way up high. I mean this is an advanced lesson. Um, I don't really care who you are, where you're at, how good you are, and how famous you are. You, you're going to be challenged by this particular jazz lesson. That's that I will freaking guarantee, baby. All right, so that was C. Now we're going to go to F. Now Arturo and John Fattis, Maynard, 
but we might start this um, on F above high C. I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to whip out and start on on the um, on the um, F on top of the staff, which I would call middle F. Low F is the first space, and the middle is right there on the staff. <sighs> All right, let's just see what happens here. I had to think on that one and as well as hear it. Okay, we were at F. We go up a perfect fourth and we would be on B flat. I guess we'll start on high B flat. And sometimes people don't know what's high, what's double, what's middle, whatever. It's, for me, it's um, very logical. Let's pr where's, where's low B flat on the horn? Well, the one up from that's got to be middle. Which means if I say start on high B flat, that's the one we're starting on, right? All right, here we go. Had a little bumble in there, but my ears were just, they were hearing it. And the, then they kind of had a little brain fart there. So remember, as I've told you now, quite in a number of different jazz tutorials, I consider myself a beginning uh, jazzer on this when it comes to using the ears, improv, and harmony. I don't consider myself or taught myself as a professional jazz trumpeter just yet. I mean a pure jazz, Miles Davis, Chet Baker type of trumpet player. So I'm still having to use my ears just like you are. Okay, so that was started on the high B flat. Now the next one, a perfect fourth up, would be uh, D sharp, E flat. So um, I guess we're going to start on the um, middle D sharp, um, E flat. E flat D sharp we go up a fourth and we're at A flat G sharp but when I'm doing that D sharp E flat A flat G sharp you probably already know what that word is right what I'm doing I'm talking about the inharmonics two different names for the same note or the same pitch so okay we go up to A flat so we were at um, E flat D sharp we're going to be starting on G sharp A flat however you want to think about it so this would be the high A flat too sharp. Okay, my ear kind of got a hold of that one decently. Remember you're playing um, when I get done, so now maybe the first time you're going to listen to me babble here in between uh, my sets. But um, after you've watched this the first time, when I'm done playing, just go ahead and play your lick. You can even pause the video if you don't want to hear me babble and rant and talk and color commentary, right? Okay, that was A flat. Now we got to go up um, a fourth above that, which would put us at D flat or C sharp. And can we start on the high D flat? My guess is if we didn't, People like Arturo and John Faddis would call us wimps, right? Uh, let's not be wimps. So, um, starting on C sharp or D flat. Oh my God, here we go. I'm just trying to think about what notes I might be playing. All right. That one made me work. All right. 
and I'm going through this just like you are. I mean, if I hear something cacked out um, during this part, I might have deleted and done a second take on it, but basically what you're watching me do here is the same thing you're doing. In other words, I'm not going out to Starbucks and having a coffee and then come back and doing another one. I'm, I'm doing them all just like you are right now. All right, so that was a high D flat, C sharp. We got to go up a fourth, which should put us right at F sharp, G flat. So, um, we're going to start on the high F sharp. Now, where's the high F sharp? Oh, I already told you how to figure it out, right? Low F sharp. Middle F sharp. High F sharp. Okay. So, a lot of you think of that as middle F sharp. You're wrong. It's actually high F sharp. The one above that, an octave higher, when you double that, is a double high F sharp. Or as Lee Trumpers, Lee Trumpers like to call it, double F sharp. There's not a double F right there. The double F, unfortunately, is above double C, even though we want to call that triple F. Um, and it feels like it, but really, folks, unfortunately, the F above double C is a double F. <sighs> All right. So I'll give my chops a little bit of time to, to recuperate. Here we go on F sharp. And are you thinking what I'm thinking? We have made it through all 12 keys doing the John Faddis into the Faddisphere lick. I'm Kurt Thompson, and I know this challenged you wherever you are, whoever you are, however famous you are, or however many suffixes you have after your name, this challenged you. I'm Kurt Thompson. I hope you enjoyed my advanced jazz trumpet lesson and ear training. Keep working it, baby. Subscribe, click on my website link, and go on to the next video. It's lovely out here. Have a great day.